Now we're going to look at the greediness of quantifiers. And by greediness, in this context, we're talking about the number of characters that a quantifier is going to eat up. So for instance, when we're looking at this sentence here, it's obvious that there's a pattern occurring which is repeated twice. It's obvious to our human eye because we're able to say, obviously, there are two phrases, they have a lot in common, so the pattern is something like eat and then some word and then peas, and that's repeated twice. Now, putting eat in one side of the pattern and then something undefined in the middle and then peas at the end of the pattern is good enough for a human being. We have a lot of common sense on our side that a computer doesn't. So we have to tidy up the ambiguities that exist before Perl will be able to correctly interpret our regular expression. If we simply used eat followed by a wildcard, the dot character, and then the asterisk, which stands for zero or more characters, and then P's, what we might expect is that Perl will find the first instance of this pattern, which is eat green peas. However, what actually happens when Perl processes the pattern looking at the string is that it will find the first eat, it'll find the eat at the beginning of the string, and then instead of looking for the next instance of peas, it'll actually start at the other end and work back up, looking for the furthest away instance of peas it can find. Now this seems a little perverse, but what's actually happening here is that Perl's quantifiers are by default very greedy. So they want to take up as much of our string as they ca possibly can. So in this case, Perl is going to match everything else between the first eat and the last piece as matching up with our dot asterisk. Now, a common sense approach, if we put that pattern to a human, they would immediately go for the first half of the sentence that it found up until the comma. But we need a way of telling Perl that, no, we don't want to take the whole sentence. We just want to take the smallest amount of characters that we possibly can before it hits the word peas. And we can do that rather than matching the entire string, which is what this regular expression will do, by using the question mark character at the end of the quantifier, the quantifier in this case being the asterisk. Now the question mark is not in this context acting as the zero or one quantifier. What it does when it comes immediately after another quantifier is that it tells that quantifier, in this case the asterisk, to be non-greedy. The asterisk now takes up as few characters as it possibly can. And so it matches the first eat and then the very next piece it can find after finding that eat. So by using the non-greedy version of the quantifier, we're able to more precisely express what we mean. In our next movie, we're going to have a practical look at an example of using this to find certain kind of pattern within a string.